Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on string is remove duplicates. The question states that given a string without spaces, the task is to remove duplicates from it. The original order of the characters must be kept same. For example, in the string geeks for geeks, the e here is a duplicate as well as the substring geeks is also a duplicate. Therefore, our output will be geeksfor. In case of example 2, the string is gfg out of which the second g is duplicate. So after removing the duplicate character, our output will be gf. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this problem. Let's consider the same example as given in the question where the string s is geeks for geeks where the second g is capital. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm which contains a function remove duplicates whose argument is the string s. We declare a variable length and initialize it to the length of the string as well as we create an empty string namely out. We create a count array of size 26 which is used to store the frequency of the characters of the string s. So initially we traverse the string from i is equal to 0 to length and at each traversal we check whether if the character at that location is lowercase or uppercase. Since g is lowercase therefore we are in a if condition where we check whether if the value of that particular character in the count array is equal to 0 and if so we update the count value of that particular character as well as we update the value of the string out as out concatenated with that particular character. So the value of a string out is now g and we increment i. Now i points to e which is also a lower case. We check whether if the value of e in count is 0. Since the value of e in the count array is 0 therefore we increment the value of count of e as well as we update the value of out as out plus concatenation with e. So the value of out is g e. And we continue the process for all the characters of the string. So now we have reached a character at location 8 which is capital G. Since capital G uh, is not a lower case therefore we are in a else part. And here we check whether if the value of count of g is equal to 0. Since the value of count of g is not 0, therefore we just increment i. And finally we have completely traversed a string and the value of i is now equal to 13 which is not less than length value. Therefore we exit the for loop and return the value of out. So our output will be geksfor. So now let's have a look at our actual code. The driver code is already given. We just need to complete the function remove duplicates whose return type is string as well as the argument is uh, string s. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we have created an empty string namely out. We have also created an array of type int which is size 26 and initialize it with 0. Then we have stored the length of the string in a variable length and we traverse the string from i is equal to 0 to length and at each traversal we check whether if that particular character is lowercase or uppercase. For both the conditions we have two, two parts which is the if, if condition and else condition. In the if condition we check whether if the character lies within the ASCII values of a and z that is whether that particular character is lowercase. If so then we check whether if the count value of that particular character is zero that is it has not yet appeared or the frequency of that character is zero. If so then we increment its count or the frequency and we update the value of out as out plus s of i that is we concatenate the string out with that particular character. Similarly in case of the else part we check whether if the ASCII value of that particular character lies between capital A and capital Z. If so then we perform the same steps as we have seen for the lowercase characters that is we check whether if the count value of that particular character is zero and if so we update the value of out as out is equal to out plus s of i and finally after the for loop we return the out value. So we can compile a code now. A code compiles so we can submit it now and it got submitted successfully. So if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations. Thank you.